Hello ladies and gentlemen, Xcentra here and welcome back to another video. Now, in today's video we're going to be looking at potential contenders for the next Infinite Flight rework. So, of course we've got the upcoming ERJ-175 rework and following that I believe we've got the ERJ-190. Um, but there's a bit of a grey area around that because I don't know what's quite going on. So I've got a few aircraft, I've got five contenders for the next reworked aircraft in Infinite Flight. So the first aircraft on this is the 767. So we'll have a, a little look at this, shall we? And um, just see what we got to, to deal with. Now, 767 is probably one of the um, aircraft in Infinite Flight that is in a nasty state, um, not even having its own cockpit view. Um, whilst the cockpit is quite horrific, unfortunately. Um, there'd be no HUD access mode as well at the moment if you were to have a cockpit um, view on, as you can tell. So the only way you can fly the aircraft is using that mode. Now, you can also tell by the livery here and the exterior, it's a little bit nasty. And if we try and connect any ground vehicles, nothing really joins up. Now, of course, that is quite unfortunate, being a very popular aircraft generally, uh, the 767. However, it just falls quite a bit short um, of being near any of the quality of the current aircraft. Now, that is also a really good thing. Um, because that means that the other aircraft in Infinite Flight are of great quality. So there is no interior yet. Um, but I think this is a very strong contender for being one of the newer reworked aircraft following the ERJ rework. So you can just see like the wheels and that and the gear. There's a lack of detail. That even the engine, um, it's pretty much just a blur. Now the 767 is a great aircraft and the physics are okay on it in Infinite Flight. Don't get me wrong. However, this aircraft... Um, would take a very long time as they're going to have to build this thing from scratch I'd imagine um, I doubt they'd use the current uh, framework that they have and I can see them starting from scratch okay so that's the first aircraft on the next to be reworked list now the next aircraft on my list is the 747 now these are in slightly better state last updated in December 2014 so we'll let's go with the cargo look shall we because um who doesn't mind a bit of cargo looks um so the 747s there's a uh, three main aircraft and quite a few extra aircraft we've got the 747 200 400 and 800 which is the one you're seeing now now the reason i've chosen the cargo looks is because you can see here on the nose the nose actually comes up and i think that would be a great addition um seeing the cargo nose door open up on the 747s is if they were to get a full rework um, I think it'd be a bit like the ERJs, they'd choose one of the three aircraft to be reworked, uh, like we've chosen the ERJ-175. Um, now the cockpit, it is quite messy, we've got the occasional 3D button, but also the occasional 2D stickers. So, you know, in general, you know, we've got the working joystick, uh, you can see the flaps go down, the spoiler thing doesn't really change. Um, that's a speed brake pedal and that doesn't work either, and there are no flap brakes, or rudder brakes, sorry. Um, on the 747 now I can see it being a very close rework in the near future and I can also see it being a very popular rework for those of you who are desperate for one now you can just see here how quickly the flaps move up and down um, so it is quite a quick transition unfortunately so but the engines as well they look okay for the 747 but I think I'd love to see a full rework especially on the 747 800 and see that cargo set sorted out as well I think that would be a fabulous addition to Infinite Flight and I would probably prefer a 747 rework over the um, 767 as I think the 747s are more popular um, so you'd probably get a bit more use out of it. However, I would not be opposed to the other aircraft. Now the next one, Boeing 717A, is worth noting I'm not including any of these aircraft because the MD McDonnell Douglases are all pretty decent in my opinion. And all of these are military aircraft, and I think they warrant their own separate video. So, the next aircraft was the 717. Let's go back in the Qantas every, shall we? And the 717 is, to me, one of the hardest aircraft to fly in Infinite Flight, just because the physics on it are just so off, I feel. Um, or they're just out of tune with the other aircraft. Now, I'm not saying it's a bad aircraft. It might be the pilot, it might be me. Um, but I find it awkward to fly and land. It is a lovely aircraft though. The cockpit again, it's mainly 2D. We do have the working throttle and the joysticks and you know the flap thing does work as well. So you saw it there moving. So all of that in general does work and that's great. However, I feel like the aircraft in general, 
it is sucking unfortunately quite a bit um, I can also see it being reworked very soon um, I see quite a few people complaining about it however it has got an interior now while the interior here is a bit meh it is an interior um, it's got the correct seating arrangement unfortunately there's nothing at the back and you can get views of out the windows now the windows are a bit tinted unfortunately um, but there is an interior cabin and I think that is something very important and worth noting. Um, so I think that's a great addition and I can definitely see um, a 717 rework coming up next. I think it would be very popular among infant flight users. Not as popular as like the 747 or a 767. But personally, I don't think I'd complain with a 717 rework. However, the last aircraft to be reworked being the ERJs are smaller short haul aircraft like this one. So it would make sense for a longer haul aircraft to be reworked. Now the next aircraft is the A380. Again, we can date we can date Qantas again. Let's go. So Qantas Airlines. I love Qantas, so literally on like all the deliveries. Now the A380 is very, very popular on infinite flight. Just look at this thing. It's massive. I feel I just feel like it should be bigger than this um, in infinite flight, but who knows? Just those wings are massive. And this is honestly a king of this aircraft plane. Like, nothing can really compare to it. Uh, it's it's pretty much in its own. It's, it's it's its own breed. This aircraft, to be honest. Um, we've got working. We don't even have a working throttle, or flaps or anything. So this aircraft definitely needs a rework. Pretty much the whole cockpit. It's just stickers. The side stick sort of works. There's normally an iPad or something now on the more modern things, and the cat has just jumped on me. Um, so does the gear thing does work I believe I believe the gear stick does work and go up as it should do um, however there is no interior unfortunately on this aircraft and I feel like if it came to a pole I feel like the A380 would win, win the rework pole and I can definitely see the A380 the next thing to be reworked in infinite flight just look at this thing it's a beast and I think a fully reworked A380 would be game changing for infinite flight. I think it would definitely just multiply how good the, the game is by at least 10. Um, and because of the A380's global popularity among um, infinite flight users, I can just see it being a great choice for rework. Now, I'm pretty sure production has stopped on them, unfortunately, but this aircraft is one not to mess with in infinite flight. It's just, it's just amazing. So. I think an A380 rework is definitely something we can see in the upcoming future um, and I definitely put it top of the polls if I were to have to make a prediction. Now the final aircraft for the next rework isn't the A330 freight, even though I'd love a freight I don't think it will be happening anytime soon but the A340, now there isn't a Qantas livery we can take, we can take Virgin why not um, and I think the A340 is a lovely aircraft you know, um, it's got a lot going for it. It's unique. I love. I've just love how unique it is, and that's one of my favourite features about it. I'm not too sure what's going on with the missing windows on this wing here. I don't think that's like a real life thing. Um, but in general, I think it's a lovely aircraft. Now, it's unique in so many different ways. Um, unfortunately, again, a bit like most of aircraft, no interior cockpit uh, cabin. Sorry, but the interior cockpit, um, it's all right. Um, there is a flaps thing down there. Oh, that's probably where it was on the A380. Oops. Um, okay, there's no rudder brake, but you know it's it's nice. Um, and I can see definitely see the cockpit here needing a full rework. Obviously, um, all of the aircraft mentioned today will need a full rework, probably made from scratch again, unfortunately, which takes a long time. Um, which is like what happened with the F18, which we recently had, literally a few weeks ago. Um, so I can definitely see these aircraft being made again from scratch. Now, there are a few ups and downs to making aircraft from scratch. One of them, obviously, being how long they take to be reworked. But I think at the end of the day, it'd be worth it. I think a fully reworked A340 would be lovely. Um, however, um, not too many people would want that. Um, the A340 is not as popular as the A380 or 747 or 767 in warrants to be wanted to be re reworked in infinite flight. Um, which is why I don't think it will necessarily be the next one to be reworked. However, I definitely think we can be seeing the A340, uh, the A380 being the next one to be reworked. If I had to make a bet, um, I would put my money on that. 
Now, if you did find this video useful on hopefully the next big jetliner to be rebuilt here for flight, please let me know down below. Um, if you do agree with any of my points, also let me know as well. Um, but other than that, I think I'll see you all in my next video. Good night. Find your way.